My name is Luke Mornay. I've remixed too many artists to mention. I got a nice milestone with a Billboard number no. one and Grammy Award nomination. But today, we're not here to talk about me, but about Studio One version 3. Well, to be honest, it took me some time before I gave it a try. Like most people, my first reaction was, why should I change? I mean, why would I get new habits and lose years of work? But moving from Cubase to Studio One has been incredibly easy. It took me less than a minute to port my song from Cubase to Studio One, which was the great news. But what's really great about Studio One is that everything makes sense. The interface is very intuitive, the sound is great, and the features are way above the competition. It really is the new king on the block. Well, it's simple. Studio One is actually the best all-in-one music production tool on the planet. Studio One allows me to produce confidently, like this radio show called Verso Recto, where I'm given two hours to produce a track with sources sent by the listeners. My tool of choice to take this challenge was obviously Studio One. It's been my most reliable tool during the most demanding tasks. I like this project called Indian Spirit. It's a super production around Native Americans. We had times of spiritual inspiration. We didn't want any obstacles during the production process. The project was started in Studio One and will be ported live on stage from the environment it's seen its first steps, with a complete Presonus ecosystem. It appears to us to be a logical and powerful process. When I've been asked to be part of the sound design team for Mai Tai, I was obviously expecting something great from the Presonus team, but not that great. Mai Tai is a powerful tool oscillator synth with serious tools under the roof. It sounds fat, it's fresh, and it's already a classic. Please welcome Mai Tai. With a new engine by Presonus, Mai Tai is already a clear winner in my book. Obviously the multi-instruments we can assign with ease different sounds across the keyboard, which is great for live situations. I'm also a big fan of the new Note FX, they are effective and straight to the point. Thumbs up for Presence XT, it looks to me much more sexy and the new additions are just godsend. Assignable controls is definitely a good idea, well done Presonus. Being able to drag and drop an instrument preset and have an autoload of the full signal chain is just awesome. I like the level of customization we are given in version 3, we can really create an environment of our liking. The colorized channel is also a nice move and I found some real love for it. This is for me the best feature of Studio One version 3. Finally, DAW users have a flexible, effective arrangement tool for structuring and for the creative process. It's like a dream come true. Just like the scratch pad, it's fantastic. We can now try ideas without messing up with the original arrangement. So the days of opening multiple windows to try ideas are over. We no longer need to work at Bar 400 either to try new ideas. So thank you, Presonus. At last but not least, my all-time favorite, the Melodyne integrations with audio to MIDI. In fact, there are so many things I like about Studio One that I could go on for hours. I call this trick creative comping. Let's listen to the layers of the various samples I've selected from the sample magic content. Okay. Good. Obviously, they're all on the same key. Sounds good. Now I'm gonna use the wrench tool and try paint some bits of music here and there. Don't have to pay attention too much, you know. This is the idea. It might be terrible, but it might be great, so you never know. Just have to fill the gaps here and there. 
Okay, this one there. There. Okay. Okay, we're good. Have a listen. Well, I'm lucky. Hope you like this trick, and I wish you a lot of fun with Studio One version 3. <laughs> 